So now that I've had this Xiaomi M365 Pro for a few months, it's given me plenty of time to check out a whole range of accessories for the scooter. Now, some are absolutely amazing, some are just cheap Chinese tat, which I wouldn't waste your time with. They'll just fall apart, dangerous, and just not worth the money, regardless of how cheap they are. So today I'm going to share with you the top 10 accessories that you can buy for your e-scooter. And even though in this video I'll be demonstrating everything with the M365 Pro, I do believe that these accessories are applicable to almost all e-scooters. So no matter what e-scooter you own, keep watching, there's bound to be something that you like. So counting down to my personal favourite, we're going to start at number 10, which is the scooter carry bag. For people who own these scooters in parts of the world where they are allowed, the scooter has become an important part of their daily transport. Paired with a train ride or car journey, it has filled in the last mile from the station or car park to the office. Sometimes keeping it on hand calls for a lightweight carry bag just like this one. There is enough space inside to include the charger and cables, plus the entire item folds down small enough to fit in a seat pocket. This bag is ideal for storing the scooter indoors, keeping the dirty wheels off carpeted floors or for storing it in a wardrobe without marking the walls. It's a great solution for storing the scooter in a footwell or boot of your car, hiding it away and keeping the upholstery clean. The two strong handles come together with a hook and loop, enabling the bag to be held comfortably by your side, but with enough clearance underneath to be able to wear the bag over your shoulder. And at such a low price, for me, this is an obvious must-have accessory, one that is available on both Amazon and Gearbest via the links below. Okay, so this is really more of a tip for the Xiaomi 365 owners rather than an accessory. In fact, it's a tip that if you follow, it will more than likely save you a few quid from having to not buy a replacement accessory later down the line. It is, of course, the silicon rear fender hook cap. This tiny piece of silicone or rubber is a replacement for my original, which if I had just followed some good advice sooner, I would never have needed to buy. See, the advice is, when you first buy your scooter, you should take this rubber piece off the rear wheel, insert a little bit of double-sided sticky tape and then put it back on, because if you don't, you will quickly lose it. It may be regarded as like a tiny design flaw because from what I know both the M365 and the Pro version have the exact same issue where because of the amount of times that you fold and unfold the handlebars for carrying it, it's only a matter of time before this little rubber piece pops off and if you don't replace it quick enough, well this is what will happen. And you see all these scratches here, it's like, uh, you know, if your scooter is only a few weeks old, then you won't be happy seeing it looking a bit beat up and scratched. So for a couple of pound, a couple of quid, it's worth a buy. If, like me, you sometimes don't follow good advice. So if you have a Xiaomi and you've not lost that piece yet, do yourself a favour, go and grab it now, get your piece of double-sided sticky tape and just put it in there and stick it back on now, You'll, you can thank me later. <laughs> just do it! Now, the last item was only for Xiaomi owners, so it's only fair that I do one item that's not for Xiaomi owners. And I say that mainly because the Xiaomi's already come with one, and that is... A bell! <laughs> yep. If your e-scooter does not come with a bell, then I think it's a necessity that you get one. Bells are super important for safety and to let other pedestrians or even cars know that you are there.
If your electric scooter does not come with a bell, then you might want to check out the Miracle Incredibel Adjustable 2. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a mouthful. Check it out, it's on Amazon, links below. Have you ever tried riding an electric scooter with something hung off the handlebars? Every turn has items swinging against the stem, potentially getting damaged while making it much harder to drive and steer. You know, if you travel regularly without a backpack, then this bag hook could be ideal for you. Fitting the hook is super simple. You just remove both the 2.5 millimeter hex screws, which are at the top of the handlebars. You can use the tool that came with the scooter. And then you just line up the hook and use the supplied screws to attach it. It takes about one minute. And when mounted, it's in the ideal position for those supermarket carrier bags, keeping items behind the stem and away from the scooter controls. I recommend limiting the load to just a few kilograms because heavier swaying cargo is going to affect the handling. You can pick the handlebar hook up for less than 10 quid on either Gearbest or Amazon, making this scooter upgrade an absolute no-brainer. Now, improper tire pressures or extreme off-roading can lead to premature wear or failure of the tires. So at number six, I'm putting in replacement tires stroke inner tubes. But a word of warning, swapping out an inner tube or complete tire is a complex affair, particularly when dealing with the front wheel. And I strongly advise you to grab a set of metal tire levers, some dishwashing soap for lubrication to assist in the procedure. If you use your scooter a lot, it's inevitable that you will get a puncture eventually. I have bought my replacements from Gear Best because they've got a fantastic deal on at the moment, which I just don't want to miss. See, Gear Best are offering tires that come with inner tubes, which are not only a bargain at less than 20 bucks, 17.99 to be exact when making this video. These tires are actually better than the originals because they have a like a higher density, they've got better like land gripping rubber. Thankfully, I've not had to use mine yet, but I can tell that these are superior to the originals and all the reviews seem to confirm that. So if these are something you'd be interested in, the Gearbest link is in the description below. Approaching our bike. It's going into a green shoulder bag that he's carrying. He is about to take out bolt piece. Okay, cutting the wire, cutting the wire. Strike, strike, strike. Stand still. Stand still. Anyone who's ever had a bicycle stolen knows that securing such a portable item is a nigh on impossible task. But that isn't to say that it isn't worth trying, right? You know, holding onto your transport is more about deterring potential thieves, and it's always worth investing to make it harder for the casual theft to occur. This disc lock is aimed at those looking to do just that. This lightweight solution works in a similar way to many motorcycle locks, stopping, in this case, the rear wheel from rotating by putting a chunky fixed item through the brake disc. Now, on its own, a disc lock isn't going to stop anyone from just picking up your scooter and walking off with it. But buying a disc lock with a reminder cable, like this one here, means that you can attach it to something so that it can't just be carried away. However, saying that, this one I bought from AliExpress and it feels cheap. 
I guess it might do the job, but the one I'm actually recommending that you buy is from Amazon. This disc lock you see on screen now is the one that my friend owns and it's brilliant. I've seen it, I've touched it and I've heard it. It's brilliant. It feels much more durable, it's better made and the icing on the cake is it has an alarm. Yup, with this lock, if someone tries to pick up your scooter or mess with the lock, they will be greeted with a 110 decibel alarm. And I would say for 22 quid that this is a must buy, absolutely. And if you would rather just have the, the cheap one that I got from um, AliExpress, I'll also put the link for that in the description. The choice is yours. Okay, number four. Not only is this one of the cheapest accessories for the Xiaomi M365 and Pro, but it is definitely one of my favorites. It is the rubber vibration damper. <laughs> Why a favorite? Well, because... Before this arrived, I thought my Xiaomi scooter was broken or that it was about to break because as probably any Xiaomi owner will know, after a few weeks of usage, the stem develops a, a very annoying rattling sound. I found out that the rattling here was very normal. See, after repeated usage of the folding mechanism, it will need adjusting to ensure like a tight latch. The seat of the joint will wear slightly with repeated folding, which just ends up with the handlebars feeling a tad loose and it has this distinct rattle noise. Now this can be remedied quite simply by purchasing a rubberized plastic spacer and just sliding it into the hinge. Packs of these can be purchased for around five quid and trust me, if you get the rattles, this will be your fix. Installation is a simple matter of selecting the correct thickness. Many packs come with three different thicknesses for you to choose, inserting it and clamping the hinge down. Just be careful not to select too thick a damper as it may lead to you over tightening the latch which could potentially lead to a catch failure. But if your scooter is developing the rattles for the very first time, you will probably find that the 0.4 or the 0.6 millimeter is enough. Just to keep them safe because I keep losing mine and having to buy more. So from one of the cheapest accessories to probably the most expensive accessory you can buy for an e-scooter, it is the portable generator. Yup, this 300 watt portable generator by Rock Pals is a little beast, allowing you to charge your e-scooter on the go. Or also handy if you choose to store your scooter in a place that doesn't have a wall outlet. The amount of charge varies depending on the type of e-scooter, but you can expect this to charge the Xiaomi M365 Pro to at least 50% from flat. Although I would like to point out that if you do not own the Xiaomi M365 Pro version, then you do not need this 300 watt generator. The original M365 scooter, like many other e-scooters, is only 250 watts, so you will be just fine with the cheaper 250 watt version generator shown here. It is also made by Rock Pals, it will do the exact same job. This cheaper generator will do all electric scooters up to 250 watts, however the M365 Pro version 
is a 300 watt machine, so you will need the 300 watt version of this generator. It might seem quite pricey, but this is a really good quality piece of kit and it does a whole lot more than just charge your scooter. It has a ton of functionality, all of which you can find out by checking out the link for it below. And if you'd seen my review video for the Xiaomi M365 Pro, you will know how handy a portable generator would have been for me back then. I do have one now. <laughs> eh, this is torture, I'm flashing on red. I'm trying to go full eco mode here. Hopefully we'll get a slide charge somewhere at St. Peter's Basin maybe. Oh no man, it doesn't, this doesn't feel good but, oh come on, it's just crawling to a stop now. Back to eco, emergency eco mode. Ovis, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. It's killing me, oh no. Oh, I can walk faster than this. This 300 watt generator by Rock Pals is small and light enough to store in a backpack and I'm sure it's going to come in handy and get plenty of use during my future epic journeys. Uh, number two, it's... Yep, the phone holder. I was going to put this at number one because it is almost my favourite accessory. However, a phone holder is pretty standard on an e-scooter and it's an obvious accessory to have, so I'm putting it at number two. What makes this phone holder so special is that in my opinion, it is perfect for an e-scooter. It's certainly perfect for the M365 and it's perfect for large phones like my Google Pixel 2 XL. It is an easy to use mount, fixed into the handlebar safely and securely and it feels super sturdy when fixed correctly. In my previous video where I was reviewing the Xiaomi M365 Pro, this was the phone holder that I was using. So for 25 miles, while this scooter was going like 20 miles an hour over bumps, potholes, cobbles, grass, the lot, this phone holder kept my phone super stable. And I just, I kept trying to go over everything as fast as I was willing to go. <laughs> the silicon grips your handlebars and wraps around your phone to give you like a, a natural kind of soft suspension for your phone, minimizing any shaking. I absolutely love it and if I needed a replacement phone holder, I would definitely go for the same one again. This is the Universal Action Claw on Amazon. And at number one, my personal favorite accessory for any e-scooter is the front facing storage bag. Oh yes. <laughs> If you use your scooter daily, it's definitely worth considering a handlebar storage bag. These affix with Velcro around the handlebars and stem, closing with a zip around the edge. The lid of the case includes a netted pocket and is large enough to fit your lunch, accessories and more. I use mine to carry my scooter charging pack along with my disc lock, bottle of water and some munchies. Since I was out with my scooter one day and someone said to me, they were like, excuse me, what's that on the front of your scooter? Is that a speaker? <laughs> and, and I did remember thinking, I was like, God, that bag does look like a speaker on the front of my scooter. But I was like, no, mate, no, it's just uh, it's just like a little storage bag. And he's like, oh, all right. But ever since someone said that to me, I've got into the habit of putting my Bluetooth speaker in there. So when I'm now, when I'm scootering around on a nice summer's day, I'm able to blast my tunes out of there. People think I've got a big mounted speaker on my scooter, but no, it's just a tiny little speaker hidden inside. But there you go. Happy days. <laughs> Fitting the bag is a simple, toolless affair. Simply loop the straps around the handlebars, 
tighten the bag down before strapping it to the upright stem. Just ensure not to tie it so tight that you end up squashing the brake cables. And there you have it guys, my top 10 e-scooter accessories demonstrated with the Xiaomi M365 Pro. Hopefully there was something on that list that you hadn't thought of or something to give you a bit of inspiration for your next buy. Originally I'd hoped to include things like sticker decal kits for this scooter, but for the life of me I just can't find any good ones. I can find sticker kits that look cool on the internet and on pictures, but then when you order them and they arrive, they're just no good. They either don't stick or they just start peeling off straight away. In the future, maybe summertime next year, I'd love to do like a follow-up video to this, if there's any like new worthy additions to put on the list. Be good to each other, take care, all the best, until next time, ta-da.